Hello and welcome to the 10th machine learning for use of Forex and stock algo trading, automated trading, or just plain analysis, or just learning to do machine learning. Where we left off, we were plotting up our similar patterns on a matplotlib so we could see them visually. And we said that we actually wanted to extend our uh, pattern length that we're going to look for. And when, when we do this, the other thing too is, is soon we're going to be looking for a bunch of patterns, not just uh, the end patterns. But eventually we do need to backtest this. So the first thing that we need to do first is we're going to change a couple things here in our percent change uh, formula. It's possible to arrive at a 0% change. Then to calculate the percent change from 0 to a point, uh, will be problematic for us if, if that occurs. And as we expand this, and not only expand the length of our pattern, but also we're going to run through all of the patterns, um, the chances of us hitting something like that is actually pretty likely. So what I want to do is first let's encase everything here. Let me try indent and accept. So accept. And we're not even going to throw an exception here because of what we're going to do. So we're going to say, instead of return, we're going to say x equals the following. Then what we're going to say is if x equals 0, 0.0, as in if x is a 0, because now normally we don't really care if the percentage change was 0, right? That matters, actually. But what we do care is when we do a percentage change of a percentage change that yielded a zero. That's going to be very hurtful to us. So we never want to throw a zero percent change. We need something. So we're just going to say return 0 0.0000001. Okay. So basically zero, but we can actually work with this number. So that's what we'll do. Else we'll return x. Otherwise we're going to get a negative infinity answer and we don't want that. And then um, accept, and if anything else goes wrong, we'll also return a 0, 0.0000, something like that, uh, percent change. So that'll solve a few of our issues. Obviously, this isn't perfect math, but that is the best way uh, to, to handle a negative infinity when the percentage change of a percentage change of 0 uh, comes into question. Now, the next thing we need to do is we want to elongate everything. We want to do, instead of 10 points, we want to do 30 points. So continuing on, um, I guess I had that in my mind. Well, let's see, x equals average line minus 30. You really need this to be minus uh, 30, now plus another 30. So really minus 60, so we can always look into the future. Now, why, since we're going to expand to not from 10 to 30, y needs to be 31, pattern stays the same. Come down here, we need to change this. So copy and paste and paste again. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to change, so this goes to 10, 1 to 10, 1 to 10. So this will be actually fairly easy to do our edit. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and this is 20. So just change these. Same thing down here. This is be 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, and 30. Now let's not be dopey and forget to do this stuff like we did last time. So instead of y equals minus 10. Oh, we should have made this edit first. Sorry, guys. Anyway, 30 now, right? And now we'll just paste this in here. Go through this. Oh, this is the joyous, joyous stuff. Let's see if we can do it faster this way, probably. I don't know. Not free, 30. 30, 30, 30. Okay. Now, we need to go through and fix these. This one will be easy again. So it's 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25
Then this will be 19, 18, 17, 18, 11. And then this will be minus 10. And then 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, basically. Ooh, done. Now, uh, let me just, let's just glance at this, make sure we did everything we need to do. 3, 19, it looks good. Okay, so we've done that. Now, the next thing we need to do is append all of our patterns. Again, the above here and this, and the next few things that we do should have been done in a while loop for the length of whatever pattern length we've chosen. And we'll maybe get to that in the future videos. But again, I really wanted to first start off by writing everything out just so everyone can easily follow. But again, I, I recognize this is not the most efficient way or Pythonic way to do it. So anyway, uh, now we want to do, so we need to append all the other patterns. So we'll do that. So this is, you know, same kind of edit style as before. So 11, 13, change to 20. And then here, 21 and 30. And just check your quick edit that we made. Just make sure we didn't make any errors. Looks good, looks good to me. And that should finish out this formula, or this function, rather. Now we come down here, and oh man, we got another one to do. Yep. So similar editing style that we need to do. Again, just mentioned this is not the most efficient way to do it, but it makes it easiest to understand. So again, we'll edit this similar editing style. 20 and 21. Two. Oh, what have I done? 23. There we go. 30. And come back up. This now, uh, all of these, dang it, we did the same thing that we did before. Remember on this one, I was like, well, we should have copy and pasted with the 30. <sighs> What a big dummy. Anyway, this needs to be 31. Uh, so we'll just do this all the way through. Sorry, I should have thought about that. I can't believe I didn't do that. Falling for the same stuff twice in a row. Is that a definition of uh, insanity? <laughs> uh, continuing on. Whew. All right, now we need to fix this one. Now this needs, instead of being negative 10, so this one needs to be 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 27, 27, 27, 27, 27, 27, minus 21. Then this needs to be 20, and then this will be 29, 27. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself here. Let's fix this. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 15, 15, 15 12, 11, and then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Quick glance over to look for any problems. So these are all 31s. Good. These here, 30, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Okay, looks good. Now we need to fix this one as well. So copy here, paste, paste. This needs to be 11, 12, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 8, 29, and 30. Quick glance over, make sure we did that all right. Yep. Now we come down to pattern recognition. You guessed it. Now we need to do the same thing here. This one should be a little easier. And let's make sure I think everything, the only thing we change here is the uh, numbers in the pattern here. And this one will actually be a little bit easier to edit since it's 0 to 9. But anyway. Paste, paste, sim 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a 20. Subsequently, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a 30. And then we come into the array itself, and we need to edit both of these. Let's not forget like we did last time. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Come down here, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And 29, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And down here, same thing, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Quick glance over, make sure our edits went well. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15
And this one looks good too. Okay, now I believe we are to the last thing we have to do, and that is all of these little additions. Let's go ahead and just automatically put that 30 there before we forget. And subsequently we do this. Throw a little plus sign here. Enter, paste, plus sign, enter, paste. Now we will do... Um, I think there was a better way to do this, but I don't think there is. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 here. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, and 30. So that's going to add them all up, do that averaging equation that we did before. Now, <clears throat> with this, since we've made the pattern much longer, how sim of 70 across one, uh, one pattern is basically probably not going to happen very unlikely that to hit that so let's just drop this to 40 just um for ease of actually finding a pattern uh before we start building the back test so 40 this is all good now the only thing okay we need to edit this this needs to go all the way to 30 now so you 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay. And actually, you know what? <laughs> Instead of typing that out, I'm pretty sure you could just do x equals 1 colon 30 anyway. That was pretty dumb. Or I might actually need to be 1 colon 31. Anyway, that was pretty stupid. That's okay, though. Continuing on, let's look through here. I believe... I think that's everything. So let's go ahead and save this and run this, see what the heck we get. So, so we run it, here we go. First we gotta store everything. I guess it hasn't even done that part yet, I don't know. Okay. Alright, cool. So we got a pattern now, and now it's in the degree of you know 30 points. As we can see, there's that pattern. Let's see if we get any other patterns. Looking through everything. And we got another pattern. Here's another pattern that matches. And you can actually probably see the, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can see that our old pattern is, you know, right here as well, just in case you don't notice. And that's it. So even though it says entire processing time took 40 seconds, it didn't really because we were looking at charts. So just keep that in mind. Since we graphed up those charts, uh, it took that long, but it wouldn't normally take that 40 seconds. So that's going to conclude this video. In the next video, we're going to begin building up our actual uh, back testing or running through old data. So this one, we were you know, only comparing that most recent plot as being as if um, the last plot in our data set. However, if we want to back test data, we can do that as well, starting at the first plot and then running through each plot as if we were comparing uh, or running through future data. So as we continue getting more plots, um, we're comparing to only the previous plots, not the future plots. So that's what we're going to do in the next videos is actually run through the data set as if it was reality and start building, saving up each pattern, that each new pattern it finds and seeing how long it takes to do this. And you'll see that initially it's very quick. And as we continue getting more and more data and more and more patterns stored to memory, that's when we start actually being taxed um, uh, our, our, our RAM starts to get taxed as that array grows. But anyway, that's what we're going to start doing in the next video is actually back, uh, beginning to build the back tester. And really, it's I call it back testing because so we're testing against old data, but it's actually better than a back tester. It's really like back testing the forward test or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.